Welcome back guys. It is time for a new test. This is our 25 way graphene products longevity comparison test. I'm going to go through a three part series here on the setup and application. And then we're of course going to test everything. So this is the spreadsheet that I've put together. The link to this will be in the video description. It's a Google Docs file. The product shows everything that's there. You can click on it and it's a hyperlink to where you can purchase the product. All the information, the size, the cost per milliliter, where it's made, and of course the important part here is the failure time in days from the first day of May 2021. And as we install everything, we're going to have our initial gloss the gloss after application. So there's the total increase or decrease. Then we're gonna measure the UV and the amount that is blocked by each product and any installation notes. So let's dive right into it, what we have in this test. One other thing to note, if you look at these chemicals, let's go ahead and sort it by column S here and check this out. So one of the things you'll see, Adams 10H ceramic coating, Glass Parency Ceramic Coating, Extreme Solutions Ceramic Coating, and then the same company's three graphene sprays. All the same main ingredient. Octamethyl Cyclotetracylazane, and in varying proportions. If you move over and look at more information on the SDS, very, very similar in chemicals, similar flash points, similar boiling points. What does that tell you? Similar categories of flammability. That tells me that they're probably the same company made by B&B Blending, which Adams owns or is part of. Maybe slightly tweaked, but that's, that's, uh, that's things you can see as far as similarities. So play with this, see if there's anything that you notice, and we will jump right into all of the products here in the test. First up is 4210H Graphene Coating, available on Amazon. I paid $24.99 for it in a 60 ml bottle, 42 cents per mil, and it is made in China. I've reached out to the seller, who I believe is also the manufacturer, for an SDS, and I haven't heard anything back for this one or their graphene spray coating. Ilho Graphene Hydro Coat V2 Pro 12H, it says 10H plus on the bottle, but this was purchased from AliExpress, came in a plastic bottle, $3.10 shipped from China, which is 10 cents per mil. The, obviously there's no SDS for it, but it does say 80% graphene, 20% silica on their site. Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Pro Graphene Infused Max Wax. This, I paid $30, $36.79, which is $0.09 cents per mil, made in the USA. Primary ingredient is water and silicone fluid microemulsion, 10 to 20%. And then as far as graphene, 0.007 to 0.01% graphite. Turtle Wax Graphene Infused Flex Wax Spray. I paid $29.75, made in USA, and on the SDS, the primary ingredient is listed as water. Other ingredients, sodium hydroxide, caustic soda, silicone, graphite, and so on. 303 Graphene Spray Coating. This is the original batch that failed in my eight-way graphene products test wanted to retest this and basically drive the point home that there is something wrong with this batch. It's batch number 20302. It's printed on the neck of the bottle on the back side. Primary ingredients are petroleum distillates, hydro-treated light 60 to 75%. And of course, I will also be including a new batch. This is batch 20317 that was sent to me from 303 from Gold Eagle in order to replace the batch that failed that they saw. 4210H Graphene Spray Coating. This is $16.99 on Amazon, and I paid, it's three cents per, per mil, made in China. Again, I reached out to the seller for the SDS, and I have nothing, so I know, know nothing else about this product. It has directions on the back, but it doesn't say what it contains. 
Next up is Adams Graphene 9H Spray Coating. UV Reactive, $32.19 is what I paid, 9 cents per mil, made in USA. Primary ingredient, octamethyl cyclotetracylazine, which is SiO2. Other chemicals are graphene, listed on the SDS. Next up, Ethos Resist, graphene hybrid coating. They call it a sealant on the box also, or on the box, on the package, $26.90. 11 cents per mil made in the USA primary ingredient is water and some alcohols it also has some silazanes of extreme solutions graphene ceramic spray $32.98 or 14 cents per mil made in the USA primary ingredient is another one of those octamethyl cyclotetracylazine very similar to Adams glass parency etc and speaking of glass parency, this is their graphene spray coating. $41.90 is what I paid, 18 cents per mil, made in the USA. Also primary ingredient, octamethyl cyclotetracylazine. It does contain graphene, according to the SDS. Advertised to last up to a year. IGL Kinzo, graphene reinforced. Cost about $170, it's a professional only coating. $4.25 per mil made in Malaysia and the primary ingredient is polydimethyl silazane 40 to 60 percent and it does contain less than 1 percent graphene turtle wax ceramic graphene paste wax this is $37.89 made in USA the equivalent of 23 cents per mil and the primary ingredients are petroleum distillates hydrotreated light, 41.9 to 49.5%. It says graphite in the SDS as point less, less than 0.001% graphite. So I also have another one that came from the Turtle Wax promo kit that you saw a bunch of YouTubers review all at once about a month ago. This is a different batch number than the one that I actually purchased out of my own pocket. So wanted to see if there was anything different about the batch that they sent all the stuff for promo versus what you can actually buy. Just in case. It's not that I don't trust companies, but I don't trust companies. So we're gonna put it to the test. IGL Kinzo non-graphene. This is the older version. Wanted to have the new versus the old. This, I believe, is no longer available, but it was around the same price of $170, professional only, polydimethyl silozane as the primary ingredient. SPS graphene, these are, this is a reduced graphite oxide coating. They were one of the originals to market about graphene coatings, and this is probably two and a half, three years ago is when this first came out on the market. So they were way ahead of everybody else when everybody was all the, the naysayers about graphene, things like that. Don't have much other info on this. Don't have an SPS on it. Made by Art to Shine in Singapore. Adams Graphene 10H Ceramic Coating. Paid $78.20 for this or $1.30 per mil. Made in USA, primary ingredient is another one of those octa octamethyl cyclotetracylazine, 20 to 40 percent. It does show graphene and methanol in the SDS along with others. Methanol, you can definitely smell it when, when uh, using this product too. It's a pretty strong solvent odor. Drive Victory Nano Graphene Coating. This is $179.99, $3.60 per mil made in the USA. I've reached out to them for an SDS and I haven't heard back yet. This is the same exact batch that was in my eight-way graphene coatings test where it didn't quite perform well, so we're going to give it another shot, see if there was maybe an install issue or if it's, it's the actual product. Extreme Solutions Graphene Ceramic Coating, $79.99, $1.60 per mil made in USA. Primary ingredient is again octamethyl cyclotetracylazine, similar to Adams and Glass Parency. Glass Parency graphene coating, $158.94 or $3.18 per mil, made in the USA. Octamethyl 
cyclotetracylazine yet again. So that's glass parency, extreme solutions, and atoms all use the same primary ingredient. And on the SDS, I do not see graphene listed. However, I'm sure it's in there. Ethos graphene matrix coating, $105.95 is what I paid for it. Made in USA, $3.53 per mil. And the primary ingredient is listed as an inorganic resin, 20 to 40%. That may be octamethyl cyclotetracylazine, like some of the others. Not sure, but it also lists reduced graphene oxide resin, 12 to 20%. IGL Easy Graphene, $79.95 or $1.60 per mil, made in Malaysia. And the primary ingredient is butyl acetate, 70 to 90%, along with 0.1 to 1% graphene and some other chemicals. One year, one coat is what this is advertised as. And it is a end user, non-professional only type of coating. Drive Auto Victory Nano Pro Coat. This is the blue bottle you see here, $149 or $3 per mil, made in USA, don't have an SDS on this. However, we have tested the brown bottle you see there in the past, and it has held up extremely well. Wanted to include this in there since we have their graphene. So much like how we have a Kinzo graphene and non-graphene, this is the drive graphene, and this is the non-graphene. Have a late entry here too, this is Glosset Graphene. I don't know if this is a pre-production or not, but they, uh, they had reached out to me and said they wanted to be part of this test. So we obliged, he sent us a sample, we're putting it in there. We have two pre-production samples that'll be in here, sample A, sample B. Can't say the name of the company, can't say where it's from, pretty much anything else. It's uh, basically, they just wanted to see how it's gonna compare to some of the other products in here. They sent me a sample, I put it on there. That's about all I could tell you. Uh, the sample B, it wasn't here at the time of editing this, but it is on the way. One other one that I tried to get here was graphene car coating. I'm just assuming this is like a Chinese type of coating. I went on their website to, to try to purchase it, went through the whole process, and then at the very end it says, seller is not currently accepting credit card payments. And there's no other way to pay for it, so I can't, can't buy it. I tried, don't know anything else about it trying to add another graphene product to this test couldn't get it so sorry about that but if there are any other graphene products you want to see in the future let me know and of course i'll keep a list going this is the end of part one of three this is just the sds next up we're going to do the prep getting everything ready to apply and then the third part is we're going to go and apply everything stay tuned thanks for subscribing see you soon